The City of Miami Gardens presents the most anticipated event of the year and the most incredible. It's a two-day celebration with 10 superstar acts descending on one fabulous city. My goodness, this is packed. Jazz in the Gardens. One, two, three. Yeah! Jazz in the Gardens has really become an international brand. It's um, enjoyed unprecedented growth. It's the kind of event that people look forward to. I mean, the day after Jazz in the Gardens, people are booking their ticket for the next year. This event started with just 1,500 people, and it has grown to nearly 50,000 people. Hats off to the city of Miami Gardens, the mayor, the city council. It is awesome. It's thousands and thousands of people behind us, as you can see. Definitely worth it. I had an awesome time. It's the place to be. It really is an event that the community looks forward to, that the wider community, the fans and, and the people that come to Jazz in the Gardens, they really, really, really look forward to it. Ladies, will you sit with me tonight? Fellas, I mean you say yeah! Yeah! We're here to see Patti LaBelle. We're here to see Mary J. Ain't nothing like a Mary J. Blige concert. I'm here to see Dougie Fresh. I am here to see them all! And so many headliners here. I'm sure they'd be one of your favorites. So whatever artists that you love, you can find them all here at Jazz in the Garden. Anyone they put on the lineup, I think it's worth seeing. Music transcends a lot of demographics. And so therefore we attract a number of different people. We attract an older audience, we attract an educated audience, we attract a younger audience. But what that does, it allows a brand to be able to target its products to a specific audience. Hello, I'm Tracy Houston, Region Marketing Manager of Southeast Region for Volkswagen. We're always looking for ways to really grow our brand and sell more vehicles. Volkswagen loves jazz in the gardens. As a sponsor, I've been involved three years, but I've been coming for four years, and this is, to me, one of the best opportunities to bring people of color just to enjoy a wonderful evening of music and camaraderie. People know every single year that we're, we're going to push the bar, we're going to push the envelope. You never know who's going to come the next year. It's going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Hey, it's Kenny G here. What's up, y'all? This is Lettuce Seed. Hey, my name is Doug E. Fresh. This is Jill Scott. This is Nicole Henry. We're at Jazz in the Gardens 2012. If you weren't here this year, you need to be here next year because it is really going to be jumping off. Can I please come back? Please? Please? The event just keeps getting bigger and bigger. If you haven't been to Jazz in the Gardens, make sure you put it on your calendar for next year. Don't miss it. It's an amazing, amazing event. As we go a little something like this, hit it. So I'm going to ask you guys to get on your feet. Give it up! It feels really good to be at Jazz in the Gardens again. It's a great crowd out there. We're a little over 20,000 tonight. And I'm having the time of my life. You know, I'm missing it talking to you. This is magic. This is live music. 